Alright guys, so this is going to be my tier ranking of every ride in Walt Disney World, just like Chase did the other day. Let's just jump right into it. start with Winnie the Pooh all right so I'm gonna put that in the just no column now if you have kids it's a good ride not for us though I'm gonna say just no next Toy Story Mania one of my favorites it's going in the awesome column because it's competitive it adds so much uh, intrigue to the ride it changes all the time they calculate best or best score in vehicle best score for the day overall great ride Tower of Terror I'm gonna put in good uh, I don't really like the ride uh, because drops and motion sickness, but everybody else does and the theme around it and I enjoy taking pictures of it. It's awesome. I'm putting it in the good column. The C's with Nemo and friends. So if we're basing this just off the ride, I'm going to say just no, but you do have to take into consideration the show with Nemo, aquarium part of the ride uh, and everything else. It makes it below average for me. Splash Mountain. One of my favorites, if not my favorite, uh, amongst the parks, I'm going to put Elite. It may be my favorite ride in Magic Kingdom, so it's definitely going to the Elite column. I love it so much. Great ride, especially in the Florida sun, in the summer. Awesome Elite. Soren, Awesome ride. Awesome, awesome ride. Can't say enough. The only thing keeping it from being Elite is if you don't sit in the center, it does curl on the outsides, which... Probably shouldn't be an elite ride. They probably need to fix that in the future. So for now, I'm just going to say awesome on that. Small World. I'm going to put in the average column. Uh, it's not one of our favorite rides, and we don't do it all the time. But it is a Disney original, and to think about all the history behind it, uh, it is just awesome. And, and that makes it average um, from what probably is a below average ride for me. But I do love Disney history, a Disney history nut. So I'm going to put it in the average column. All right, Slinky Dog, Elite, enough said, it's an awesome ride. Um, Disney has had some issues with it, um, just cosmetic issues, nothing like uh, serious track problems, but they have had some cosmetic issues with the tail and different uh, ride vehicles within, uh, the, or within the, the, the full ride vehicle, the mini cars um, have had some cracks on some other things. So hopefully Disney does fix all those issues, but still, it's an Elite ride one of my favorite rides uh, in Hollywood Studios for sure, probably my second favorite ride uh, now that I'm not, uh, now that I've got beyond uh, my fear of rock and roller coaster, rock and roller coaster is probably gonna be my number one, uh, but we'll see later on in this video. All right, so next is gonna be the carousel. I'm gonna put that in average, because as Chase said, you can't get more average than the carousel ride. Um, next is going to be uh, Pirates. Pirates. I'm putting Pirates in the good column. It's a good ride. I love it. It's one of my favorite movie franchises. Probably my favorite movie franchise. Loved it for so many years. Awesome ride. I like the old scene. I don't mind the new scene. Overall, awesome ride. I like it. Next, we're going to go with Frozen. Elite, elite, elite. Elite, elite, elite. It is one of my favorite rides in the parks. Definitely my favorite in Epcot. In Epcot. It is my favorite ride in those part or in that park, so definitely has to be in the elite column. Peter's Pan, Peter Pan's flight, good, good solid ride. It's been around um, for what seems like ever. It is a Disney dark ride, but they've left it pretty intact since it opened, uh, so it almost gives you like the original feel of the ride, and I just love that about it. All right, the Barnstormer. I'm gonna say just no. Um, again, I think Chase said this in his video. Uh, if you have kids, it is a good kitty roller coaster. Uh, but, you know, for us, definitely just no for me. I don't need to ride it when I go to the parks. Um, although we did do it. And if you want to watch us ride it, you can click on uh, the video in the top right hand corner 
and Chase will link to where we rode every single ride in Walt Disney World on Christmas Day. Hit that link right now. All right, next is Aladdin. I'm gonna put Aladdin in the below average column because it takes Dumbo and all the great things of Dumbo and puts it right in the way in Adventureland. And it's so annoying because it clogs up traffic right there. It's so frustrating. So below average for Aladdin for me. Cali River Rapids. I'm gonna put it as average because that's what it is. It's an average Rapids ride. It's not as good as any of the other rapid rides I've been on at any other theme park around. So definitely putting it in the average column because that's all it is is an average uh, theme park ride or an average Rapids uh, theme park attraction. Next, Test Track Elite because it's Test Track and it's awesome. I think I like the older version better but it's still a great ride all the way around. So definitely in the elite column. Haunted Mansion, I'm going to put, oh, where am I gonna put it? Uh, I think I'm gonna go good. I think I have to put Haunted Mansion in the good column. That was a tough decision. Uh, that's such a tough decision because it's one of my favorite rides. Um, it is such a, uh, you know, I don't know if it's a Disney original or not. I don't really remember. So let me know in the comments below if it is. Uh, but it's been around forever, and I love it for so many reasons. The theming, the cast members that work outside of it, all of them are great. Um, it, it's just, it's a really good ride. Um, it's that close away from being awesome. Next, I think this is the teacups. So we're going to go off of that it's the teacups. Teacups, I'm going to put just no because no. The teacups for me, awesome ride to photograph at night and take long exposures on. I love doing that. As far as riding the attraction, it's going to be just no from me, fam. Uh, leaving with the land. I'm going to put that in the below average column because I feel like that it gets a lot of hate, but for what it is, it's actually really good, and I think it's a really good ride for Epcot. Now, they need to up get updated a lot, like the screens are struggling in certain uh, instances, and they need to just update it all the way around. Um, so that's why it's in the below average column. But I think that if Disney wants to go in and refurb it, I think they could easily get it in the good column for me. Next is the river boat, and I'm going to put that in the, I think I'm gonna put it in the below average column. You know what, I'm gonna put this in the average column because I'm bumping up to average because there are so many good picture opportunities from it. If you're a photographer, this is a must ride uh, attraction. Uh, outside of that, you can skip it if you're not looking for um, great pictures. It's one of my favorite pictures. It's one of my favorite places to get sunset pictures from, uh, both of Splash and of Thunder Mountain. It provides a ton of unique um, photo opportunities. So definitely, if you're into photography, definitely ride it. Um, if you're not, you're not missing out on a whole lot. Spaceship Earth definitely in the awesome column for me. It's one of my favorite all-time attractions, and it's that close to being elite. I'm really excited to see what they do in the next couple of years as far as updating it because for me it is like the ideal attraction for Epcot and where I want Epcot to be as a park. Obviously they're going um, into more attractions centered around movies at this time, but for me Spaceship Earth brings in all the great things about Epcot um, and really brings them into uh, an attraction and I can't wait. Um, it's going to be rough with it shut down for a year and a half. Um, but really excited to see what they do um, with the update on it. Star Tours, I'm going to put below average because honestly it's a flight simulator and I've heard a lot of people get sick. I don't get sick on it, which is crazy because I can get sick very easily with motion sickness. But I don't really care for it because it's a flight simulator, but I know a lot of people get sick on it. So I'm putting it in the below average column. Prime Evil World, just no. There's no questions that should be asked on that. I'm also going to put... Triceratops spin in the just no because again no questions needed because it's a basic carnival ride uh, Mission space used to be good and now it's below average and had you left lieutenant Dan it would still be good So Disney bring back lieutenant Dan and it's a much better ride if he's in it Jungle Cruise I'm putting Jungle Cruise in good again It's one of those rides that's like that close away from being awesome and elite with this one it completely depends on the skipper you get the skipper can make or break your jungle cruise experience and it's either going to be average to below average all the way up to awesome or elite we got some great um ride clips if you go back and watch some of our older videos chase may even link one 
uh, in one of the corners. That if you go and watch it, we've had some amazing skippers. Uh, so definitely check that out. Um, I would say good because of that though, because sometimes you can get people that have had a long day, may not be as into the ride experience as other skippers are all the time. So because of that, I'm saying good. The three Caballeros, going below average. Um, it does give you something to do in the Mexico Pavilion. Um, I've heard, you know, we heard rumors that, hey, this may be rethemed with Kogo, but doesn't really seem to be like that's uh, taking place anytime soon now. Um, so I'm going to leave it at below average um, just because, honestly, it's really short. It doesn't have a, a great storyline through it. Uh, so it's below average for me. Flight of Passage Elite. And obviously, because it's the best ride in Walt Disney World, Chase would say Everest. I say Flight of Passage. Um, either way, if it's not in the top two or three rides in Walt Disney World for you, then I want to know what is because Flight of Passage is absolutely amazing. Uh, Dumbo, I'm going to put it in the good category because for me, like these rides are all over the place now. Like these same, like, um, you know, the rides where you go up and you go in a circle and you're going up or down or whatever. And Dumbo's what started it in Walt Disney World. Like, I'm sure there were like earlier versions before it. I'm not sure that it was the very first one of this ride style, but now they're everywhere. And I feel like Dumbo's a huge part of it. And I also love to photograph the ride and take pictures on the ride. Um, especially long at night doing long exposures. So for all those reasons, I'm saying good. Imagination, uh, Journey into Imagination with Figment, I'm putting as average, even though I've started to come onto the ride more um, as I've gotten older and I start to appreciate Figment even more. I feel like if Disney was to go in and uh, refurb it, they could definitely refurb it, keep Figment, and turn it into an awesome ride. Uh, once again, uh, I liked it before in its earlier stages, um, but I think it has a lot of potential and I think it's definitely something that fits Epcot really well. Space Mountain, definitely elite. Elite, elite, elite. Space Mountain, again, I think it's my second favorite ride in Magic Kingdom, but it's one of my favorites in the park. It's a Disney classic. Space Mountain, undeniably elite. It's so great. Love it. One of my favorite rides. Safari, I'm gonna go with awesome. It's one of my favorite things to do. I'm calling Chase out because I'm pretty sure this is where he put Safari in his video and he is always not throwing a fit, but he always would rather ride other things when I want to ride a Safari because I want to do Safari like every trip and he doesn't necessarily want to. So be sure to call him out in the comments for him ranking it as high as he did uh, in his last video. For me, it's awesome. It's a must do at Walt Disney World for anybody. Um, I try to do it every time that I'm in Animal Kingdom. I love it. Every every time it's different. Um, I will say it's a lot like Jungle Cruise, where if you have a good guide, it could be an elite attraction. If you have uh, a not-so-interested guide, it could drop it all the way down to average. But overall, I would say it's an awesome attraction. Rock and Roller Coaster Elite, because it is now my favorite ride in Hollywood Studios. It's amazing. If you haven't done it, go do it. If you're worried about getting sick, do it anyways. You'll be okay. I promise. I love it now. It is my favorite ride in Hollywood Studios now. So huge shout out to everybody who forced me onto that ride because it has changed my outlook of the park. And Rock and Roller Coaster is now one of my favorite attractions in all Walt Disney World. So Rock and Roller Coaster, definitely elite. Swirling Saucers. I think I'm going to put this in the, where did I put teacup? I put teacups as just no. So I'm going to put this as average because I feel like it's a lot better than teacups. I also feel like if you ride it at night, it can probably bump up to good because they have like club style music going um, and it's really upbeat. I love that part about it. So it's definitely a must do if you're going to Disney World for the first time. If you're regulars like us, it's not really a, a must do every single time that you go, but it's still one of my favorites. Um, in Hollywood Studios, but honestly, maybe because Hollywood Studios only has like five rides going right now. So we'll see where this ride goes on my list in the years to come. For now, it's going to be average, but again, has the potential to be higher depending on when you go and how long you have to wait in line. If you're having to wait in line more than like 20 minutes, I wouldn't, I would, I would use that time for something else, especially when you have so many elite and awesome rides throughout Hollywood Studios. So for me, Swirling saucers, average. Dinosaur, awesome. Dinosaur is awesome because dinosaur is awesome. That's why dinosaur is awesome. 
I say that enough? That's what I thought. And if you disagree, we can have it out in the comments. But Dinosaur is an awesome attraction. Don't at me. Um, Buzz Lightyear Space... What is it? Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. I'm going to put in the good column. And the only reason I'm putting it in the good column is because I wrote the Disneyland version. And it's better. So I really want Disney World to refurb our version and have like the guns that you can like take out a slot and move around. So many more things you can do. Sometimes you get a gun that doesn't even work. Um, sometimes you get a car that won't even move. So outside of that, if it's working how it's supposed to work, I would say awesome. But there are those instances where you get a gun not working or a ride vehicle not working. And for some people, um, you know, that's not going to be a great experience, especially if it's their first time. So I'm going to put it in good just for those reasons. Thunder Mountain, awesome, because it's so great, but at the same time during the day, I don't really think it's elite status. I think it's really good, but what brings it up to awesome is at night. At night, that attraction to me is an elite attraction and it is must do. So if you're gonna do Thunder Mountain, do it at night. It honestly is a completely different ride and it's just absolutely amazing at night. Um, you get so many good views at the top. Uh, from all around Magic Kingdom, so definitely check it out if you haven't rode uh, rode it at night. Definitely check it out at night because that's our favorite time to go. Thunder Mountain, awesome. Astro Orbiter, just know because why. All right, moving on. Everest is going to be in the. I'm gonna put it in the elite column. I'm gonna put it Everest in the elite column because it's another one of my favorite attractions. Um, if you're prone to motion sickness, be wary of it. I have gotten off and had a headache and like not felt great but if you walk around a little bit you're fine um you know i think most people would have this in their top two or three rides uh it's definitely up there for me definitely elite and before flight of passage was my most favorite ride um in animal kingdom so definitely has to be elite for all those reasons uh little mermaid i'm going to put as a good ride because i feel like it's a stereotypical disney dark ride but with great animatronics and that makes it good. So it takes Disney took an average ride and made it good because of all the different animatronics they have, all the lighting that they have throughout. Um, the attraction is amazing. Uh, much like with Peter Pan's flight, I actually rank those the same um, because I think that how Disney has it set up um, makes up for it not being a quote unquote thrill ride because the animatronics are so amazing. The theming is great. The waterfall outside the queue is awesome. Little Mermaid, good. Next, Navi River. I'm going to say is awesome. And a lot of people are going to disagree with me on this. And a lot of people were underwhelmed by this attraction. I love Navi River. My only complaint on it is that I wish it was longer. But they did a great job of taking something with Avatar and turning it into a stereotypical Disney dark ride as one of the best animatronics I've ever seen in my life. The theming is unmatched throughout the parks. Great ride, awesome ride. I'm putting in the awesome column. If it was a little longer, I would even consider it elite. Call me crazy. Um, and Seven Dwarfs, <laughs> as Chase yells, I'm crazy in the background. And my last one, Seven Dwarfs, I'm going to put in the good column. Uh, I'm not going to put it too high because the lines can get pretty long for such a short ride. So I'm definitely putting it in the good column. It is slightly above average. Like it's a really good ride. It's really well themed. The queue is well themed. There are so many good things around it. But for how short the ride is, for how long you have to wait, that's why I'm putting it in the good column. So there are my rides, guys. There they are. All my rides in Walt Disney World. Hopefully you like this. Let me know what you agree with and what you don't and what you don't agree with in the comments below be sure to subscribe to our channel like this video hit all the links all the way around in all the corners so be sure that you check out all those videos and until next time guys quadrini how you doing team this is captain america at disneyland i'm callie i'm rachel yo this is gino Seagus from pair of kings you might know me as mason McCua. hi i'm the dtm hi this is kelly the disney traveler and you just watched the disney gremlins Thanks for watching the Disney Kremlins. To my boys Chase and Cody Disney Kremlins. And don't forget to always represent.